Hey there guys, what's up? It's me, Ray Sarah. We're back here with a brand new video and welcome back to Ginger Reaction Show and Trailer Reactions, Pop Culture News and Movie Reviews. But today, I am reacting to the brand new official trailer for Ahsoka, the next step in the Star Wars saga following Ahsoka Tano, the fan base's favourite Jedi played here by Rosario Dawson, who we've seen in The Mandalorian, as she goes on her quest to find Grand Admiral Thrawn, played once again by Lars Mikkelsen, who voiced him in the Star Wars Rebels animated show. And that show is something I'm definitely going to have to go back and re-watch. Uh, considering there are also going to be a lot of returning faces from that show, including Hera, played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead, uh, Sabine, uh, who else? Uh, David Tennant is coming back as his droid character, uh, Hui Yang, I believe that's how you pronounce the droid's name, but if not, let me know in the comments, uh, as well as a holographic uh, cameo from Ezra, even though I really wish that we get more of him in like a, a actual human form. Uh, as well as newcomers to the show, such as the late great Ray Stevenson, uh, rest in peace, who sadly passed away this year, playing Balin Skull, and uh, Ivan Hill, who is playing Shia Hati, uh, I believe that's how you pronounce the character's name, who are going to be some form of Sith characters, I believe, either Inquisitors or some form of the Sith. Either way, they carry orange lightsabers, which I think is very cool. I'm so excited to see what this official trailer brings us. So without further ado, let's get straight into this reaction. In three, two, one. War is inevitable. One must destroy oh. in order to create. That's very familiar. We are no Jedi. I think Ray Stevenson might be one of my favorite parts of this show, I'm not gonna lie. As yes. the whispers. Of Thrawn's return as <gasps> heir to the Empire. There he is. Ooh. What happens when we find Thrawn? Oh, she's oh. back. Such as you've never dreamed. What's that? I like the look of the orange lightsabers. I've spent most of my life fighting. A yes. <gasps> That's why I'm trying to convince Chopper. you to help me prevent another one. Mothma. You and I so both know we can help you with this. I'm so excited for these little interactions. She's still just as stubborn as ever. That's a shot. That's a sh that familiar shot. I shot. found you difficult at times. Anakin never got to finish my training. I walked away from him, just like I walked away from Sabine. I'm you so excited for these directions. Easy for me. Nice. Master. <laughs> as a Jedi. Sometimes please, not just be a hologram. No one else can. Please, Ezra, please. I'm counting on you to see this through. Oh. Nice haircut. Oh, she's bringing back the season one look. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's like to say this. we have to do what's right, regardless of our personal That's feelings. cool. That's a cool mural. Buckle up. The fight to scenes and lightsaber wrong, scenes never disappoint. <gasps> Being used in as a saber. What is this place? I'm so I'm not curious. Here to discuss my past. Ghost ship. We have a lot of work. <laughs> a rebel, always a rebel. Nice. Ooh. Whoa. Inquisitor. Two episode premiere. August 23rd. We're in two episodes on the 23rd of August. Oh boy, this looks so good, and there's so many little fun things I want to go over real quick. So the original runtime of this video was going to be 15 minutes long, and I know you guys don't really want to sit through that. So instead, I've decided to make this a two-parter sort of deal. So this part will be my reaction to the trailer and initial thoughts on it, and then part two will be my Easter egg breakdown. So let me know in the comments if you guys want to see my breakdown of the Ahsoka trailer, and also get this video to 10 likes. But right now, my initial thoughts on the trailer are overall really positive. I'm very excited for this show. I definitely think this is going to be a very big hit, especially since, uh, uh, from what we learned at one of the previous um, conventions, that this is going to be one part of a much bigger story in terms of the fact that Dave Filoni is making a movie with these characters, as well as characters from The Mandalorian show, um, which is supposedly titled Heir of the Empire, which suggests that Grand Admiral Thrawn will be the antagonist of it, especially since he is called that in this trailer. One of the biggest things I'm very excited about for this show is definitely the continuation of the Rebels storyline. Because as we know, at the end of Rebels, Ezra and Thorne were in a very tight spot, and then they hyperspaced away, I believe, and they were never seen again. 
But now we have Thrawn coming back, but we still don't know where Ezra went. And I think that can be a very big plot point, especially if Thrawn wants to use that as some form of manipulation, especially since he might know where Ezra went. And in terms of that, I'm also very excited to see the interactions between all these characters. I'm very excited to see the original team come back. Uh, it seems like Hera and Ahsoka are like kind of like chill friends, but the real tension lies between Ahsoka and Sabine, especially since we know that Ahsoka was training Sabine in the Art of the Jedi, but she left her just like she left Anakin. And also speaking of Anakin, Hayden Christensen cameo for a Clone Wars flashback question mark? Please let it be so. And of course, Lars Mikkelsen coming back as Grand Admiral Thrawn. He played him so well in the show, and I'm so glad he's getting a chance to bring him to life in live action. And especially since he might be playing a bigger role in a movie, I think that's going to be very, very cool. And I also want to see Ezra. Please give us Ezra in human form, not just a hologram. Fingers crossed we get him in this. And also, of course, we have uh, Ray Stevenson and Ivan Hill's characters coming in as Jedi slash Inquisitor-esque characters who are also searching for Thrawn, and I'm very curious to see what part they play in this, and also, of course, rest in peace to the great Ray Stevenson. I believe this was, like, the last thing that he filmed before he tragically passed away, and he looks very menacing in this show, and I have no doubt that he did a... he brought a fantastic performance to the role of Balan Skull, who apparently knew Anakin. Uh, and I don't know if Balan Skull was a character that was established in Clone Wars, but if he was, I'm sorry, I'll probably put it here, but... Uh, I'm very excited to hear, hear, like, if that, maybe hear what that history was there. Um, and also, of course, David Tennant coming back as Hu Young the droid, who made his debut in Clone Wars. I'm very excited to see him as well, because I love David Tennant. But let me know your thoughts on this trailer in the comments down below. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to join the Nerd Notification Squad, and also follow me on TikTok right here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!